some problems because he was passing to go for the double scuttle crap, but the fall lane of SK is already here. Lock up is there, Crouch out one game. Only level two though for Crouch out. Still level four for Kadrol. Heal is oh. going to come down. That's a sleepy Leona. Limit now going to be in trouble. Genex getting control to finish this one off. They're gonna chase him down though. If Genex gets a kill here, it'll get the cast and snowball rolling. For now though, SK falling woefully far behind. And Torres there just in the neck of the time. Is it gonna be enough? Ezreal on the way. And Kadrol going down. Genex getting the kill, but Crown Shot's just next on the menu. And Mickey's above oh, this is an absolute disaster. XL coming out on top, but another kill. This time going over to the Karthus. Gen X trying to fight back, running for his life. He's out of range. Demon shield. Trick just waiting over wall. If they walk into the skills, they might just die. Mickey now going forward. One more force pulse. Maybe a bit more damage. Are they in trouble? Ah! Get kill. This is a disaster. Not great. Coming back to this big lay. Oh no. That's all gonna be a lot of damage. Ooh, huge damage on the limit. Now the extra resistances are keeping him alive for now. Body block comes in from Trick, but definitely not what they wanted. Well, TP behind from Jack. That's a double TP. Now moving in, looking to get the fight kicked off. Patrick is going to need to find a way out of this one. Leono misses, definitely not what oh, they wanted, but he no. gets suplex back into the team! Goodbye to Patrick! To their name as well, so it has to be those solid plays or you just get killed. That's going to be follow-up, the lockdown, and knocked out. This the Trick is Trick has to be careful, though, because Trick is really the one who is actually vulnerable here. Maple dashing forward, baiting, trying to think that they're going to throw the all-trick, the one getting caught out in the end. The shutdown goes there, and it look for Zoe picks of goals and bubbles, or just go over I the love this Patrick just getting incredibly aggressive right off the bat. Not going to take oh it, not my. scared of Leona anymore. Justice for every AD carry who's ever been solo killed by that champion. Trick trying to walk forward, but this is the weakest. Gen X, Gen X! Really point. Gen X incredibly strong, doesn't have enough time to push it. The hourglass, it will not come through. Excel, find the fight that they were looking for. The level 16 cast it in, simply not enough for SK, and that's going to be the Baron for Excel. This is really nice from Excel too. They timed the menu is really nice. Okay, there's a TP in coming from Gen X. This is going to be the fight from SK. They want to fight before getting the seat back. It's a sleepy Leona. They're trying to get a bit more damage down on the Zoe. It's maybe enough time. Gen X now going in. Patrick versus Gen X is the fight that you need to watch. The rest of the fight in consequential, but Gen X is forced back. Expect sees him, smells blood in the water, and that's going to be an SK are getting dunked down the Requiem. What is it actually going to do? Absolutely nothing. This is a master class in Ezreal. Sidestep on the Zenith Blade. He's not even threatened. He's back anyway. He's not concerned. Gen X, though, going in, trying to get something done. And here comes Sakura in the midst of the fight. Wants to dunk. Expect back into the team, but it will not happen. Kato's all comes up just in time, and that's going to be it. But also, like pretty good team fight uh, with the Soraka and Kaisa coming online. Oh, Far is doing so much damage. The Hextech Ultimatum is available and has just been thrown down. Wish has just been unlocked. Nuketuck may need to push that button. He's gonna hold on to it. Destiny's looking for a target. Dredge line, dredge line. Manages to catch on the two ray. Unbreakable is up and the ball time comes down. But Patrick is almost insta give. He's not down just yet. Finally taken out by Upset, who's forced to go into the back. The GA has been popped from Alfari. That's a golden upset, but he's surrounded by members. Look at the of healing! Sports. The what? They're going back in! It's back to full health as Toure, who started the fight, is now running to try to end it. Mickey goes down, Cato goes golden, Toure is down, and Expect is the only man alive! But the barrel comes out, Toure is not down just yet, but Alfari is fishing, looking for a target. Baron's going low, this is so close! It was almost stolen, but it is Cersei that does pick it up. Now with the ensuing fight, which has already been used, but the heals are not enough to keep Destiny alive. The damage follow-up is though, Cato forced to make his life. Mickey! You so fine! The Empress Divine inside the pit! It's locked up Fari against the wall! It is an XL team fight wins! Back on the it's hunt! Redemption on cooldown is redemption. Snipe him with redemption! The hook shot comes out! Oh my god! Good. El Fari with the one, two, three! But once again, Tori gets caught by the dredge line. Cajal is knocked sideways, caught inside the baby. You're not going anywhere. Slam forward. Here comes Upset with the ultimate, and it is another quick set of kills. As Destiny goes fishing, finds another member of Exile as Expect gets pulled back, but he's the last man standing, and Origin take down Exile. For a dive here, though. Yeah, and why not? Careful, the grit's not stacking up yet. Special's coming down. Teleport's getting used. The kick goes wide by Tags. The flares uses the barrier, the flag, the drag, the knock-up, the haymaker will be enough to find first blood. Miasma and Petrifying Gaze are the big tools to watch for here. Yeah, flashes away already. That's going to be the kick flash and the Petrifying Gaze goes wide. Almost expected in this matchup. So they're actually flashing in forward here. Flares does have ulti, so can use the crescendo. The Haymaker's enough. Standing on the wall, tries to jump in. Gets himself the showstopper. Haddo jumps in. Kasi gets a two-man knockoff into the charm. Stendo putting that damage out with a Haymaker. Crescendo lands up the free. Kevo stacking up the damage, but it's not quite enough. A kick from Taxa will be rewarded for star points. Ascendo gets himself a kill here in the mid lane, holding the wave away. Now he jumps forward. He's going to get stunned up by Ericsson. The chains will connect here. Has got the knockoff and the quickness as well to follow. Ericsson going very, very low. Misses Great the Vanguard's edge. He has to flash away. Ascendo looking to chase him down. A lot of CC layered on, though. They get the depth charge off 
same time, the crescendo is going to come down as well. A lot of damage on Descendo, but he haymakers away to safety. Ericsson's been run down and shut down. Sybil looks to go in here. That flash is available to Deadly. They don't even need to use it. He's just going to feather storm in for the kill. Pulls back the feathers as well, and Hado in the middle of everyone. They actually can throw Ericsson out. He flashes away, the Sterix gets popped, and in comes Special. A kick comes out by Taxa. Kevo's gonna fall here, and the turrets are just falling apart. Barrage only have flares left, and he's a level 12 solo. No matter, it's the ace coming down for XL, and it will be the game in 29 minutes. Got a lot to do here, Deadly. Holding the shift, the flay goes wide, they try to get this damage down, he's actually doing a good job to buy time as he flashes backwards. And it's just the most scuffed tower dive ever. Sendo's teleported in, gets himself the watermelon off for first blood. Only Angel falls for a double kill. But connects from Taxa, uh, so onto Taxa. They get that Winter's Wrath stacked up, trying to get the damage back in time. Only Angel shifts back, has to flash over and Deadly snipes him. That still looks like a contestant one despite everything. Uh, Durking? He's going to hold his eye for the moment. It's Heaven who tanks it up. Flawless duet for the stun. True Shot Barrage clips as well. And with that, they look to try and see if they can contest the dragon more. Air's coming forward. They get the flag. They get the drag. Taxi goes golden, and it's a dragon steal. Nice and easy. Air jumps in, tries to find himself an assassination off. The Permafrost stacks will stun him up, though, and he gets locked in by the Flawless duet. Out as well, Air. He gets caught here, he could be in for trouble. Teleports are going to get used and the fight looks to break out. Only Angel, half HP already. Final chapter roots up a couple of members. Flag and drag. Divine intervention will be used here. That's the Cataclysm, that's the turnaround. Enclave have found themselves too. Air throws out the ultimate, catches out Deadly, who instantly cleanses out. Now Sender looks to try and get himself a triple kill. Only Angel running to the wind. Gets the Cataclysm off, waiting, holding for that flawless duet. The hook goes a little bit wide. Airs are running him down, throws out the Vanguard's edge, and Special is blinking around everyone. Almost gets the fight off, but Deadly gets himself a double kill. Instantly cleanses away. Durking falls, and it's a triple kill for Deadly. Now he's looking for the Quadra. Airs trying to jump away. Can he find that assassination off? I don't think he can. It's a Quadra kill for Deadly. Too much problem comes down. Is that well, actually damage? No, nope, he's dead. They're looking for a fight here. Special goes golden, throws out the Vanguard's edge. He jumps back out. The ultimate comes onto Mapillion to keep himself alive for a little bit longer, but that's going to be a kill for Deadly. Enclave are falling apart at the seams. Air misses the Supreme Display of Talent. It's a double kill, a triple kill for Deadly.